What's going on, America? This is Kevin in Kevin's Corner. And you know what? I might have to bring Chuck D back. That is how mad I am over this last situation that's going on with immigration. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm about to go Chuck. A sail is hell. I'm a rebel, so I'll rebel. Between bars got me thinking like an animal. They're making me go Chuck D. They're making me go Vader. <sighs> you have failed me for the last time. Your lack of intelligence disturbs me. That's what they're making me do. <sighs> Why are politicians and pundits out there fighting on behalf of a group of immigrants from Honduras that is traveling towards America right now in demand of some type of asylum from escaping wherever they're coming from. Now, here's what gets me. I've seen people on Fox trying to argue this and they're like, they're simply trying to escape a horrible situation and, and they're coming here. And I'm thinking to myself, first things first, Mexico needs to do something about this. Mexico is complicit in this if they don't stop them from coming because they're coming through Mexico to get to us. Now, let's just break this down on some logical, practical sense. If people from Canada just invaded our country, went through America talking about we're going to march all the way through America until we get to Mexico so we can get asylum there. We got to be a real sorry country to let them breach our, our border, walk through our country. We don't know what their intentions are. We don't know how many of them are staying or leaving. We don't know what they, where, where if they're going to just break off and go into all kinds of places and, and wreak havoc. We don't know nothing. 1,500 illegal immigrants just breached the Canadian border, coming to America, talking about we going to march all the way to Mexico. And America doesn't do anything about it. We might as well not have a military. We might as well not have any type of ice. We might as well not have border patrol. We might as well not have the National Guard. We might as well not have no local police. We might as well not have any type of immigration laws. We might as well not have a, a country. If we will allow somebody to just walk through our whole country to get to Mexico without us stopping them. Does that make any sense? Secondly, if their country was so bad, they came from Honduras, why don't they just stop in Mexico? Why they got to trample all the way through Mexico to get to America? Why can't they just disperse and, and chill in Mexico? That's what I want to know. They're coming to America because we got horrible immigration laws and rules. That's why they're coming. And if I was a person trying to get out of my country, I would abuse our lazy system as well. These people have been coached on what to say because when they get to the border, they don't even try to run. All they have to say is, hey, listen, it's bad back where I'm living from, where I'm coming from, and I need asylum because I'm scared for my life. Well, why are you scared? Oh, lots of reasons why. It's horrible back there. I'm afraid. I want to be a political refugee. I want asylum because I'm a, I'm, I'm a scared to go back to my other country. And then we have to let them come in. Then we have to set a court date or trial to see if they are legitimately um, people who are seeking asylum or not, which takes forever. So there's a backlog of all of these cases because we don't have enough judges to do the cases. So these people just end up dispersing throughout America. And then at some point they have a court case, but a lot of them never even show up. So our system is set up to fail. Our system is set up to be violated and taken advantage of. And you got politicians out there trying to say that everybody deserves the chance to escape a horrible situation. Why don't we just not be the United States of America? Why don't we just get rid of the borders? Because here's my point. Who's to stop any type of terrorists from jumping in that group and coming as well? Who's to stop people from other countries, not just Honduras, but any country to just get to Mexico, walk on through Mexico, come to the border and say, hey, my, my country is horrible. I'm just, I, I need to get away. I'm, I, I need, you got me?
You got me? Can I come in? Who's to stop that from happening? And for us to not recognize that, it makes us look sorry as a country. We can't even say, hold up. What we need to do is tell Mexico, stop them. You bet not let them get to that border. Secondly, we need to send some people, if Mexico can't do it, send some people out there to say disperse and dismiss, okay? You're not coming to the border. We don't want to hear no sorry excuses because if we set this presence, what this is doing is it's going to be a make or break situation. If we let this slide, it is free for all. Everybody's going to be saying, man, look, dude, all you got to do is just get to the border. Tell them that you running from a bad situation and you in, baby. That's all you got to do. And if we let that happen, where does that stop? So. I hope that everybody is taking note of how politicians are approaching this, not just the dirty Dems, but also the Republicans and Congress. Why aren't they doing something? Why is nobody addressing illegal immigration and immigration reform right now? That's what needs to be taking place, period. I'm talking stop do not go past go. Don't collect $200. Hit the brakes. Make the neck do like this and say, our mission right now is to make some type of changes to that crazy policy. Lest we allow people who we don't want to get into the country to come in. And this is how you know that that's not a legitimate law or rule. That is just something they put in place to allow horrible immigration uh, to, to take place for future voting, okay? Because if all of those 1,500 or so people were coming in here and they were Russian or they was from Iran, I don't care what they said. We would not let them come in. But because they're from a Latino country that kind of sits on the South American continent or whatever, we trying to act like, hey, we all just one big country. I heard somebody say that the other day. It's all a part of America. No, it's not. No, it's not. Stop lying to the people. America is America. Mexico is Mexico. Canada is Canada. Honduras is Honduras. Okay, they might be all on the same continent, but they're not the same country. And until we draw lines and put down some real legitimate immigration reform and border protection, we are vulnerable for attack. We are vulnerable for immigration violation constantly. We look retarded. We look like we are weak. We look like we can't protect our own house. That's what it looks like. And it's being done by politicians who's playing political games. People who are looking out for their voting future. Therefore, they're trying to act like that this is a situation, a humanitarian situation, and we need to be more sensitive to it. No, we need to put the foot down and stop this crap from happening. Man. If they get to this border and we let them in, I got a letter from the government the other day. I'm going Chuck D. I do it. They opened and read it. They said that they will suck us. I'm going to be Chuck all week. So let's keep an eye on this. They better not let it happen, man. I'm going to be talking about this on my radio blog talk show uh, Wednesday night, 730. Make sure you call in. If you want to support Kevin's Corner, feel free. Just check out the links in the bottom. That'll show you how to do it. And we'll go from there. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. God bless. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.